Hello guys and welcome to the first time in a long time me playing a game that is not the TARDIS rewriting Gary's mod. So today instead we're going to be playing Medieval Engineers and building a stone TARDIS. <laughs> yep, we're going to build Castle TARDIS uh, in this game. And also I apologise if the game looks awful. Um, it is running very badly on my computer which is, I don't know, it's got used to playing Gary's mod. And um, yeah, it hasn't been optimised this game very much, so if there's any lag spikes I do apologise. But today we'll instead, of course, be building a TARDIS out of stone and ma naming it Castle TARDIS. So um, I hope you enjoy this journey. I may speed up some parts as um, it's basically just Minecraft and I'm, yeah, I'm speed building some parts maybe. Um, so we'll have to set the base. I am not counting anything. I, I literally just have played 28 minutes of this game. I have no idea how to do anything, really. But I will show some cool things about the game, which I really like at some point. Um, I shouldn't have built this on a hill, should I? Um, and then we'll probably blow it up. Yeah, definitely blow it up. Because that's the whole point of the game. Great story. I'm not sure if that rain sound is from outside or in the game because it's raining outside. Fun fact. Um, I don't know how big I want to make it, just big enough so I can like see the TARDIS resemblance. Um, I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna make it a slight. I'm gonna fill this bit in because, like the Dalek, it has a fender at the base. Yep. See. Because soon I'm going to release the Tardis, real, my real TARDIS video, which hype about, yes. I'll even show some architectural plans of the TARDIS and Dalek, maybe. Alright, um, right, so I'm not sure how tall this is going to be. Let me build it up to where the police box sign will be, obviously, because um, Medieval Engineers has a police box sign. I'm not even sure if anyone's done this before. Um, yeah, that's... That's too tall, I think. I want it to be big, but like, not that big. If you know what I mean. Then... Uh, no, it's going to have to be bigger. Simply because I want to get the details in the door. Now, I cannot remember, but there was a, a, a method of being able to build up lots of blocks. Um... Hmm. Let's have a look, because you could build um, shift in one, is it? Um, oh, no, that's just that's just cool, but um, that's not what I want to do. Um, what is it? You were able to, to build lots of blocks very, very quickly. And I like that, but Space Engineers didn't have it. Um, mm, where is it going to be? Um... I guess we'll have to pause and find out. Oh well, I couldn't find it, so instead I'll show you some other cool thing of this game. If we go here, 
and see this interesting block, I am able to place... Hold on, that's not the bit. Alright, there we go. I'm able to tunnel right into the terrain and it becomes sort of this weird, like, hallucinating Teletubby land. What was that? And, um, I can put a tunnel underground. And I like that. Um, there you go. Ooh, it's a tunnel and I'm not sure which way is up or out. There we go. So if you're building a castle, you can build a well, which is cool. And, yeah. Right, let's get back. That's also very small, so let's make this bigger. Also, I left structural integrity on, so um, I have to wor worry about physics in this as well. Um, basically, it will fall down under its own weight if it. Oh. Uh. Like that. And that has basically just ruined everything. Ah. Oh. Let's start again. Okay guys, so welcome back. I've um, made a new world and this time it's going to go a lot better because I've turned structural integrity off. So um, we don't have to worry too much about things falling over, but we can still blow them up. And I've also found, or slash been told, how to build um, up very quickly like that. So I basically hold control and can build quickly, yes, like that. So it shouldn't. It should be a bit easier than placing everything out individually. So let's decide the width of our of our TARDIS base. Um, yeah, that should do. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't counted them, and I don't think I will. Uh, um, that looks all right. I think. I'm not sure what we're going to fill the interior with, but I'm sure we'll make some sort of console area. I don't I don't even know if the doors will open, they probably will not. Right. We'll leave the centre bit just grassy for the minute. Perhaps we could have a tunnel going into it. Because after all it's Castle TARDIS. I don't know. But it's not very secure because like stone Daleks, which a real a real thing, could come in. Yep. And the yeah, the museum thing. Um, oh look at look at that that's smooth right um, that should be alright just keep building higher um, did it just fall down again no no it just looked like I didn't place some blocks all right and um, that's way too big so we're just going to um and I may as well just try the destruction just that just sort of broke the sides of my uh, my other building. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty sure it's going to knock down the rest of the building. Um, yeah, stone tard is probably not the best thing to do. Yeah, this is this is this is the right height I want it to be. Um, he's making a peculiar hammer sound for stone. That I would expect something <laughs> slightly different. Um, oh yeah, there you are. The tab is, I mean, the HUD is pretty horrible, so I'm trying to keep that off. Um, let's go back up again. See, look at that. That's that's smooth. Yeah, uh, I've gone a bit over. But look, ah, oh, look at that. We are getting there right now. Let's decide the width of our sign. Um, yeah, that should be all right. And then I'll show you. Ah, uh, no. I maybe have to reload the world once it's done and try it with structural integrity just to see if it will survive start holding its own weight up, but I'm not too sure. Um, yes. This is a simpler way of doing it. Um, it doesn't look a really like my TARDIS from the inside. The signs mostly stay outside. But you'll see eventually when I can be bothered to um, put it in. Yeah, that looks not too bad for the the first bit right now let's try and get the other sides done and then we can work on the doors um, um, I think we could probably have a light on it as well can we change the color um, uh, oh, uh, what's the thing HUD oh, there we are uh, no I don't think we can change the color but I don't know St uh, blue stone maybe Perhaps I've found I could have made a better one. Yeah, that's way too tall. I'm not sure. Jesus. 
this TARDIS is getting bigger on the outside than the inside. I'm not sure if that's correct. Right. Let's just get the symmetry all right, and then it's pretty simple from there onwards. No, that's not correct. Why am I saying correct? That's a very unusual word to be saying. Yeah, that was right. There we are. Oh, look at that. That was quick. Look at that. That is smooth. I'm enjoying building. Um, right. Ah, we may as well just finish in this sign as well. Okay, that's just becoming a stairway to heaven. Also, yeah, those shadows are questionable. Um, I'm, I'm surprised this game hasn't been optimised properly yet. Or, yeah. Let's see how that... Oh dear. <laughs> the sign is coming outwards. There we are. Yeah, that's not go going too badly so far. And then let's do the final one. And perhaps we can just finish in the base so it looks a bit... Yeah. Whoops. I don't really like the flying. It's sort of... I'd rather it just no-clipped everywhere than what this is doing. Um, what was it? I don't know how high it was. Um, we ha we could probably have uh, we could probably have a um what is it how do I go down the flat to look it's horrible um, we could probably have a wooden roof as well a wooden wall uh, a wooden roof would be cool perhaps take it back to its original material the TARDIS was made out of which is actually concrete apparently police boxes used to be made out of concrete as well. And there's no, there's a still a real police box in London made out of concrete, which you can go and have a look in. I haven't been though. It's just <laughs> to get get a Kickstarter page going for that. In fact, I should probably get a Kickstarter page going for my TARDIS. The way it's going, it'll be like three centimeters piece of wood that was rotted away by the time I've got the video of it done. All right, there we are. Keep dragging that out, and that's all right. It's just a case of getting used to the building of this game. Yeah, uh, we can clear clean it up inside in a bit. But yeah, so far we have sort of got. Is it getting dark? Uh, yes, it is. Um, we sort of got the outline of it, ish. Also, I have autosave on, otherwise I'm going to be very disappointed if it just gets blown up by some, I don't know, creatures in the night. It is getting very dark now. Now, oh look, the stone's all blue. <laughs> the stone's actually gone blue. <laughs> or at least it has some on my screen. Okay, this is really dark now, and it's hurting my eyes. How do we make it go night to uh, day again? <laughs> That. I don't know, but now it's brighter, so I'm happy. Okie dokie. Let's do the roof now, because it's easily the most recognisable part, possibly. Uh, do we have... Oh, I don't know, that's not really... We'll have that on, on the last bit. And do we have any sort of light? Uh, yeah, we have a... <laughs> yeah, we'll have that. Alright, let's go build the roof now. Um trying to remember like the 400 TARDIS videos I've done what the roof looks like accurately at least ah given I look out of my window at one every day I should probably be able to remember without going on Google and if I do I probably have a very bad memory ah the concentration is real you can tell I probably won't even edit this video much focus. Yeah, I think I think it will look good at the end. And then I'll put it on Steam Workshop, so if you want you can have a go at blowing the TARDIS up made of stone. And yeah, that's not looking too terrible. Right now this usually bit uh, this bit to scale would be something like that, but since it's sort of not to scale in any shape or form literally 
we shall have to do it like that. In fact, I will try and do this control method of building. It's a bit... Yeah. There we are. Right, and... In fact, it's looking quite cool now. Uh, now, let's see... Um... We just have to fill in this because then it sort of gives me an idea of what we need to add onto the top of the roof and how big the light should be. Because the light bit does have a casing, which probably probably can't add. Um, now it just looks more like a pyramid now. Nah, we'll have to have it like that then. So it does look like a pyramid, which is a bit annoying. And I probably haven't got this bit right, but here we are. Let's go ahead and add the add the light, which is mildly too small. Let's go have a look from a distance then. Meh, no. I'll finish off the roof and then. I'll edit that bit out so you don't know what it looks like until the end. Too exciting. Suspense. Honestly. Alright. Okay. Now the wall. Oh, there's a person over there. He's going for a run. What's he going for? Oh, no, he's going that way now. Oh. No, he's going back again. Yeah, obviously it wasn't worth it. Right, so. Yeah. Oh, God, my mouse. I have ordered a new mouse mat, but my this one is very worn. Alright, uh, we need to build another one of them up in ideally. Get them, ah, let me try and get used to this control, holding down control to build. But it's very simple when it's done. And uh, see, that doesn't look right yet. But once we've got it all completely symmetrical, it should look all right. I'm hoping. Just wait until we get onto the interior part two. Right, that's that doesn't look right at all, but we'll have to make do. That will have to be roughly where the windows start. And okay, this is this is probably why I should have measured it first. Um, I'm gonna have to count the blocks now. Ah, oh. one, two, three, four, five, six. Six divided by two is three. So I'm never gonna get this right. <laughs> If you can guess what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the back wooden paddle, panel, so they have paddles. Um, meow. Uh, see, from distance it looks like those two blocks were three blocks, but yeah. They just have to be centered, maybe. That's pretty annoying. Unless eight, so four, but it needs to be an odd number. Um, mm, what to do? Puzzle. Mm. Because ultimately this first door is the one that will be repeated around, and I'll probably edit that bit out anyway, so... Uh, right. Let's get rid of these bits down here, which I... Had to get, um, had to add, really, because they sort of separate the path. Thank goodness I don't have structural integrity on. Which is exciting, but... Terrible for TARDIS is perhaps... Perhaps Medieval Engineers wasn't designed to build a TARDIS, a wooden object. Right, there we are. Okie dokie, that will look a bit weird, but it will hopefully, after we're done. Um, yeah, we'll have to make do of that. So let's go ahead and drag this all the way up to the top. See, the flying doesn't really work with this. It's, ugh, look at this. Honestly, I hate the flying bit. Um, yeah, well, just is it going to um, the wrong lighting again? <laughs> oh, I like the sun though. Yeah, uh, let's get the light on this side. There we are. That looks better. And surprisingly, the frame rate hasn't dropped. Taste the way to the top, like that. Then we can just simply go the entire way up because this is basically how it's repeated inside there is 
two slabs of wood on either side. Well, one side has cut cutouts, and the inside is just a flat piece, which makes the indents in the front. So yeah, fact of the day, probably. Um, I hope there's a copy. Uh, yeah, copy and paste. <laughs> Else we're going to be here a long time. I've just worked out why this is not going to work on the other doors. But we'll have to get to there in the end. Um, right, deep hope oh, that's all right. Then I have to count these blocks up. Uh, Thirteen blocks, um, which is, means it's twelve. So twelve to four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's three in reality, but uh, don't judge. Then, uh, nope. Okay, that. Ah, uh, I guess so. Yeah. Need some work. That's not too bad, perhaps. Yeah. All right, we'll do this one and then hope that goes a bit better. Perhaps I'll just stand back a bit when I drag up. Maybe that's a bit easier. The issue is you have to put the first one on. I think Space Engineers has an infinite amount of distance you can have from placing blocks, pretty much. One of the funniest reviews I actually read of this game was you basically build a catapult, launch yourself to space, then play Space Engineers. But that's very amusing. Right, here we are. And roughly... <laughs> The developer of the Tyler's Fury is not going to be happy with my modelling skills. I don't know. I'm sure some photoshopping can make this look a bit better. <laughs> Alright, so one side done. Oh god, that is meh, pretty terrible. Um, how many blocks we used for, but that can it be three? Can it be three? Because then I could make it look a tiny bit better. No. Instead, perhaps we shall try and improve this bit, because the windows I'm not happy with much. Could perhaps we... Uh, I've basically just repeated it, haven't I? You see, it's got to be two bars that go across. Uh, yeah, I'm getting confused now. Um, oh dear, we should have to make do of this, perhaps. Okay. I guess it's alright. Now, it's about to take off. I shall rejoin when it's completed. Okay, so welcome back to ha uh, three quarters of the way, I think, building. I guess we've done, well, two, well, I guess halfway through. Because we've only done two sides, but I will have to show you a problem which I have. Um, with one of the sides because I didn't do my maths when I decided to build it, which is one of the biggest mistakes ever. Because the sides are not equal, therefore I had to improvise and really laugh when you see it. It's pretty awful, but yeah. I was bored so I decided to make a TARDIS in stone. So um yeah. Capaldi don't don't think about having a stone TARDIS. Just like quit if you're given one. Um, right. It's also bad now. I've got to know about Peter Capaldi as the Eleventh Doctor instead of saying he's the Eleventh Doctor. Like honestly. Also, if you've seen the film On the Loop, please tell me. It may be called On the Line. I cannot remember. Probably On the Loop. Um, if you've seen that film, tell me in the comments because I'd like to nerd with you about it because it had Peter Capaldi and he swore in it so many times and it was really funny to see him like the doctor out of character. 
that was not the right way it was meant to be built. Um, said the Leaning Tower of Pizza, I guess. No. That was alright. Um, right, there we are. Two sides are done. And they don't need call up. So we'll have to um just just make a screenshot of that. Yeah. And be done with it. Um, and then just one final side to do. And then we have ultimately finished the TARDIS. Maybe. And finally the TARDIS is done. If you'd call it a TARDIS. You can see I have added a key hole there for a bit of extra detail. And um, we've also added an improved lighting-ish. So let's go try it at night. I guess that sort of works, maybe. And let's get the light on this side. It's good. As you can see, we go around, the sign is missing, the doors don't add up, but nonetheless, we have built what is a concrete pyramid. Um, so before we do, let's go save as TARDIS. And I guess you've all deserved it by watching this terrible event unfold. Let's destroy it. Hum. Okay, I was expecting more bits to come out. Is that level arch one? I think we have to hold it in. Just, what's it doing? It's just chipping. Come on, yes. Finally a cathedral, when I've talked about the TARDIS, I've called it a cathedral before, and it actually looks like one today. I guess we'll have to end and we'll maybe interior it later. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.